Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we will talk about outliers and how to uh, show them in uh, Orange Data Mining. So outliers, as you know, the, uh, they are the uh, anomalies that can uh, be in any data set. So um, showing the outliers is uh, straightforward and direct in uh, Orange Data Mining. Let's use uh, uh, the Iris data set. So I'm going to use the file. I'm going to uh, connect it to Iris data set. So uh, these are the features. These are the targets. Uh, all our data set uh, is set to uh, be used. Now, um, as you know that um, if we just connect, connect this to the data table, this is the data, data table. We have 150 instances, as you can see, and we have uh, four uh, features and one uh, class which is the iris now uh, also you can connect this directly to uh, scatter and from scatter you can see that we have uh, three classes uh, stores uh, vesicular and virginica now the question can we identify which points or instances from all these points are outliers the answer is uh, we can do this by using something called out layers out layers okay so uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna connect this to a data uh, table so we can identify all the out layers this is number one so uh, out layers to data okay uh, there are inners out layers and data so i'm gonna connect the out layers here okay so this is uh, number one number two i'm gonna connect this to um, scatter okay and I will use outliers to subset and I will use here data data okay to data data to data okay so these are the setup for uh, showing the outliers so to show the outliers I can open this outlier budget the data table and the scatter the three of them so when i change anything in the outliers we will see the implication in both data table and scatter but anyway you can open this just as a first to see all these outliers these are the outliers okay these are the, are the outliers and these are also the outliers but let, let's let's play a little bit with with this we are gonna open this one first okay i'm gonna just keep it there okay and i'm gonna open also this one and also I will open this uh, the widget the out there so because we need to do some modification in the parameters so I will show them all this one okay and I will show also the, the table so we have three things we have the table and we have the scatter and also we have the outlier so what will happen here is when I change any parameter in the outlier we will see it uh, here and we will see it also in the table so if I f first change the method I can go with one class as VM as you can see these are the outliers okay and you can go to uh, other uh, methods local uh, factor and isolation for us as you can see it has been changed based on the method I'm, I'm using so if I use this one for example and uh, there is some parameters you can uh, change the contamination okay you can increase it or decrease it the way that you want as you can see it will have major implication on the um, graphs and the, the data uh, also uh, you can uh, choose other factors for example local outlier factor and you can identify how many neighbors you you want for example 20 so it changed based on this you can make it 50 and see it increases number of outliers and also you can uh, uh, select uh, the metrics or the metric from here the way that you want this is simply uh, the, the way how you use the outliers okay in the uh, orange data mining it's straightforward uh, it's direct also you can here see also from data table the inners for example inner to data okay so you can see all the inners not the outer outliers see uh, in this data table so this is the uh, the lesson is just straightforward uh, showing the outliers is straightforward in orange data mining it needs, it needs just some setups for the 
uh, data and uh, how you gonna see the outliers if it's through data uh, table widgets or uh, uh, visualizing the outliers, outliers using scatter. So we'll see you next lesson. Uh, till then, uh, bye.